Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express Social Studies Lesson Video Fishing in the Bahamas. In this lesson, you will be able to discuss and list some of the materials used in the fishing industry, name the resources in the waters of the Bahamas, identify two fishing grounds in the waters of the Bahamas. The fishing areas of the Bahamas. The vast areas of banks, reefs, and sea which surround the islands of the Bahamas provide our country with a valuable resource. Many types of seafood. There are three major fishing grounds in the Bahamas and every Bahamian fisherman goes to either one or all of them. The fishing grounds of the Bahamas. The grounds just around the Exuma Keys. We have the Little Bahama Bank and the Great Bahama Bank. Our fishing islands. The major fishing islands are Spanish Well, Long Island, Andros, and Abaco. The fish caught by fishermen from these islands are exported to other countries and some are sold in New Providence and some are used for local consumption. Our main fishing industry is to be found on the island of Spanish Wells. The resources of the sea is divided into three categories, fish, conch, and lobster. Why must we be careful not to overfish our water? Remember, there will be no fish for future generations of Bahamians if we overfish. How do we save our marine resources? Certain regulations have been put in place by the Department of Fisheries to protect our fishing resources. One method of protection is the enforcement of a closed season on the catching of fish. Job opportunities in the fishing industry. Our fishing industry generates around 76 million in foreign exchange per annum and employs approximately 9,000 people. Bone fishing guides can make as much as $300 per day. The crawfish industry is very lucrative, meaning profitable. Fishing equipment. Conk. Here we see the conk. On the left, we see a fresh conk. On the right, there is a dry conk. Conk can be made or cooked in several ways. And here we have two, the conk fritters and the conk salad. And you can even think about the scotch conk. So that's three. The lobster or the crawfish. Here we have the male, female lobster. And here we see the female lobster with the eggs. And there is a dish prepared with the lobster. Nassau grouper. Then we have the bonefish. This is the yellow tail. Red snapper. Now, in the Bahamas, 
This is the bar graph showing the various catch that we have. 1.5 million for the grouper, 1 million for the spiny lobster or the crawfish, and about $50 million for the conch. Where, why are there so many fishing lines in the water? Do we know, do we know? What will happen if we continue to take too much fish out of the sea? We have to be careful not to overfish our waters. Otherwise, there will be no fish for the future generation of Bahamians. How many of these sea resources can you identify? Put on your thinking caps now. Okay, that's number one. Can you name that fish, that sea resource? What about this one? What about that one? What about this one? Okay, look at this one. Can you name that? This one here. What about this one? And this one? Okay, this is another popular one. Can you name that one? Okay, and this one here. Okay, another popular one. Can you name that one? And this one. And this one, all right, let's see the answer. We have the red poggy, the mackerel, the Nassau grouper, wahoo, the bonefish, shark, amberjack, yellow tail snapper, the grant, red snapper, sheephead, blue marlin, you had sea urchin, count, sea fan, and the lobster. Great job, guys.